what are some mac apps that you can use for photo editing that's what we are going to talk about today i'm going to tell you three of them the first one is free and the next two you can use but you will have to pay for some features so for this i have already downloaded an image as you can see in download so this is my image which is fine so let's get started the first one is going to be your photos app so this is the photos app from mac so i am on my work account so there are no photos on here but i will put in some photos if you already have some photos synced to your mac it will already pop up over here to put on photos i'm just going to go to download and upload the file that i already have i can just drag and drop and that is it so as you can see one file is already uploading here on the bottom as well you can see it's syncing to the cloud so it's done let's open this photo up with a double click and on the top right you can see we have an option for edit so let's go to edit and in edit we have multiple options this is great because we don't have to do much so light if we want to reduce or increase the light we can do that as well if you want to change the color so this in this case it is just black and white or uh, just full color we can also go auto and let it choose for us we can go black and white if we so wish that i'm going to just disregard because i don't i'm just going to uncheck it because i don't like it red eye not necessary uh, white balance i can have it skin tone temperature tint or natural gray as well so i can have it be a warmer color or a cooler color or a cooler photo actually we also have some curves so these are your rgb curves we can also have individual red green and blue curves as you can see uh, i'm just going to do an rgb curve and as you can see it instantly changes the image depending on where i change this curve so uh, you are able to do that as well similarly i can increase just the reds as well if i am to increase reds in this region and let's say this region i can do that as well uh, that is great not so good looking because i'm giving you guys a trial so again so i've done something that does not look good that is fine but i'll just turn it off and then we have levels so we again have rgb levels so if you want you can just move them about like so i would not recommend that if you don't know what you're doing definition as well you can change selective color if you want to have a particular color you can do that as well so i can increase the red hue or decrease the red hue uh, with saturation also i can increase and decrease it and you can go basically you can do that color wise as well so you can do that with rgb so that is your red green and blue and also yellow cyan and purple so these are your colors as well you can also have it do noise reduction if you think there is a lot of noise basically it's going to smoothen your image if you want to sharpen your image you can do that over here and if you want to put in a vignette you can do that as well so i think all in all uh, the apple photos app is quite great if you want to be done with it you can just click on done and that's about it so while this isn't a very big edit it it, it definitely does the job but otherwise if you just want to enhance it you can click on the enhance button right over here as well and it will do its own magic so that is one application now let's move on to the next one the next application is called Footer. Footer you can just download it uh, from the app store as well so i'll just type it in for you guys so as you can see Footer ai is your application and it's very easy to use as well again you may have to pay for it going forward and if you're going to use it for a while i think you should definitely pay for it because it is using ai and if you didn't know you are going to be using the servers for ai and they have to cover costs too so they are going to charge you for it so to edit a photo you can just click on photo editor over here in photo and then click on open i'm going to select an image which is going to be the same image in this case and there you go we have this image that is coming up and what can this do right first of all this again is an ai application we have eight credits by default if you want you can also have their free premium trial so if i go to ai tool i can have one tap enhance ai upscaler face on blur everything like that so basically all the ai features but if you don't want that you can also have just the filters so as you can see no filter is currently applied 
but I can have KD film 7 the filter what they call is this and I can use that that is the only filter available in this category if I want I can just go to trendy again one filter from there filmatic is another filter that I can use KD film 1 is going to be your so basically in every category I'm going to have one filter but if I want to use any other filter I'm going to have to pay for it at least one to two in this case I have two so I think it is pretty useful if you just want to use filters if you want you can also have your favorites over here you can just star them like so and then it, they are going to pop up in favorites if you want to remove just click on the star if you want to adjust it however you have this adjust button over here you can go ahead and use white balance so you can move the temperature and tint according to your wants then you have the basic stuff such as exposure brightness contrast i can move this about and be done so these are again basic things but i think they do a good enough job you can find this in apple photos as well but if you want you should definitely go ahead and pay for this you can also have this straighten option over here as you can see in crop so obviously i can also crop in this image but the free trial is about $50 per year. So that is up to you whether you want to get it or not. But we have a lot of options such as backgrounds, textures. So I can add textures. You can see I can also give it a bit of a look like I have taken it from a DSLR. I can also have a tilt shift and change its perception as well. So there are a lot of things you can do with Photor even with a free trial or just a free version. So that is a great app as well. And if I want to save it, I can just click on save AI tool. I'll just, you know, let's try it. I can just do this. And if I click on start removing, it's going to say you need to get a trial version. So that is up to you. It's not going to let me use any AI version. So that is fine. But if I click on save, it's going to save this image and you'll be asked whether you want to save it as a JPEG, a PNG, BMP or TIFF file and the quality as well. And you can just hit save photo. Now let's move on to the third app. Our third application is quite well known and it's open already. It is called Canva. Now it is worth noting that I have Canva premium. So I have actually uh, get, gotten the paid version because I need it all the time. With Canva, you can also edit photos. So you can go to your designs. So you can just upload pictures. Before that, I'm just going to click on create. For example, I'm just going to say YouTube thumbnail for now. Now I'm going to use the same image that I used in the other two uh, trials. I just hit upload files and then uploaded the image. It was pretty straightforward. So get this a bit bigger you can also yeah so that does work so that is great now if i want to edit this again i just have to select this picture and on the top you can see we have edit click on edit so we have this magic studio which i'm going to show you as well but we have filters as well as you can see it is changing you can also adjust the intensity like so and you can do all sorts of filters actually which is great and it is also give, going to give you a thumbnail as to what it looks like so all of these look great and you can select whichever filter you want in this case i'm just going to select none but we saw the filters but if i want to adjust the image i can just click on adjust over here and i can either select auto adjust in which case it has automatically done it if not i can just press command plus z and it's just going to go back to its actual or natural position i can again play with the temperature over here tint over here i can adjust the brightness the contrast the highlights shadows whites i could actually increase maybe blacks could go deeper yes i could also invert the color which is up to you but i could also increase or decrease saturation and vibrance as well and then we have texture uh, options wherein we can increase sharpness clarity vignette if you want to do so if you want none of that if you don't like it just click on reset adjustments and that is going to be great as well with this we also have background remover background generator magic eraser magic grab uh, grab text a lot of uh, all this magic stuff is basically ai we also have effects if we want to add effects we can also give it effects this is going to vary from so if I want to use effects properly, actually I'll give you a trial of this, right? So I'll just copy this image 
background remover i'm just going to create another layer and then go to position layers and then have it on top and we are going to make the the layer on the bottom to be black and white if we want so let's see but you see the problem right away over here correct because this hasn't gone back so we are going to go to position we have to move this layer to the top and here you can see this has uh, taken in another layer of the object itself and made the background uh, black we'll go to edit and then if you want to give it shadows we can do that as well i can give it outline which does not look good hmm. so as you can see i have not aligned it properly and that is the main problem so we have to make sure that it is aligned properly otherwise it is not going to look great so as you can see i've given it shadows i've created another layer these is this is basically just two layers and a shadow so if i want i can just go ahead click on share and then hit download and then again hit download if i want i can just change the format over here as well and that is going to download in our mac so hit save although this is a very bad edit by the way guys but i just wanted to show you how it works let's go to downloads and here you can see it has actually downloaded for us so that is great uh, and these uh, were the three photo editing applications that i wanted to show you hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys canva you will have to pay uh, and you will also get ai credits if you want you can actually create an entire ai image if you want to see a video about that do let me know in the comments but this is how you can edit images for free on canva all the ai stuff that i use that was obviously premium but otherwise you can use all of it hopefully this video has been helpful do like share and subscribe to this video see you in the next video